there has been many, many, many lives that should not have been taken from us. That should not have been taken from America because they contributed just as much as everybody else around here. America is liberty and justice for all is what they say. But for some reason, black people have been left out the all. And we have to make sure that changes. Who here has witnessed or experienced racism in Fort Mill, South Carolina? I want you to raise your hand. Too many. Too many. So not only is it the deaths of the people that police or racism have taken, it's for us. It's so that changes. It's so we don't see that anymore in here in Fort Mill or anywhere in America. Um, today we are peacefully protesting for Black Lives Matter, not only for Black Lives Matter, but for the death of George Floyd and all other lives taken by police brutality and racism in America. We're here to bring people together and uh, we want to make a change and we know we can start in the small town. It starts with us. We have to be the change we would like to see. And I think we can make a change, and it, and it has to start with the young people. It really does, because it will go up the ladder. We have to educate the older people, because America is built on systemic racism. So the higher generations you go, the less people feel like they need to know that black lives do matter. People, I hear all lives matter, and that is very true. But until black lives matter, all lives do not matter. It's just, I don't think, I don't think America wants to, to see the rioting going on. That's why I feel like everybody is, is, is coming with the negative side of it, but being peaceful, I feel like this is going to bring out more of the, the, the joy of being together. And I feel like this is going to make, make people realize that we're actually out here trying to do something instead of bearing out negative sides of, of Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm dedicated to make a change. It, even if it's in a small town of Fort Mill, it has to start here or it's never going to change. Um, I posted it just on social media just about two days ago, just saying, like, as a black man, waking up, I lived here for almost 13 years, waking up and not seeing anything going around, only know in the town, like, nobody really, like, you know what I'm saying, showing, like, that they hear us. So I feel as if it's my turn, it's our turn as a generation to be like, hey, we can start something here. I've seen it done in Rock Hill peacefully. And I keep harping on that because it's just like, see, it's not about, you know what I'm saying, it's not about Charlotte, it's not about what they're doing here, it's not, we are a small town. We can literally get together and be, be, be changed in one. I feel like it's important to show people that it's not like um, all of us fighting one thing, it's everyone coming together to realize that black lives are just as important as everybody else's life. And I think it's uh, important to bring awareness in a community that is very diverse. We're going to be out there and we are going to vote on Tuesday, we're going to vote in November, and we're going to vote in two years.